here we go again we are back once more oh I don't know why sometimes I think that I am too old to do this I don't mean my actual age I mean the energy that is needed to actually prepare and do this sometimes I feel that I am too old to do this oh hi everybody here we go again yes it is another Sunday and it is overcast today the weather for those wondering what is happening here weather wise well <laughs> it's overcast it's gloomy but at least it's not raining here we are again everyone yes it is English addict coming to you live from the birthplace of English which just happens to be <gasps> Oh my goodness, England. Mm. <sighs> Sometimes it feels as if I am too old to do this. <laughs> I seem to lack the energy sometimes I, I don't seem to have enough energy to prepare and do this but suddenly yes once I'm on once I hit that button and I go live and my connection is excellent then something happens to me it's as if my whole body has become recharged again hi everybody this is Mr Duncan in England how are you today are you okay I hope so are you happy I hope so here we are again Wow it seems like a long week it's been a busy week I've been doing lots of things of course here in the UK I don't know about you but here in the UK a lot of people hate January and there is a reason for that now I'm sure you have to do this in your country but we have to do it here as well you have to return your tax forms you have to work out how much tax you have to pay your government so at the end of January lots of people are busily <laughs> preparing their tax statement because you have until the end of January to send it in so you have a whole year to do it but the closing date the deadline is actually the end of January so lots of people here in the UK are busily they are <laughs> in a state of panic because they are sending off their tax form if you have your own business of course you have to keep everything you have to keep all of the receipts so if you spend any money using your business money you have to show that that particular purchase the thing you bought is legitimate it is something that you actually need you really do need it for your business so a lot of people are returning their their tax forms they have to work out how much money they made in their business and from that how much tax they must pay the government and of course on top of that we also have to pay something called national insurance which goes towards your pension and all of the other things that help you when you get old <laughs> which for me is not a very long time to be honest so that's the reason why a lot of people here in the UK are looking glum what about you if you have your own business maybe you have to return all of your tax records and then they will tell you the government or whoever is in charge of taking your tax <laughs> they tell you how much tax you must pay so that normally is for people who are working for themselves to be honest so my name is Duncan and I talk about English I love English you might say that I am an English addict that's what it says up there you see and yes we are coming towards the end of January although 
I just said that January can be a little miserable for people who are returning their tax forms however here in England people are feeling rather excited because on Wednesday from Wednesday all of the covid restrictions are being lifted no more masks no more self isolation no more social distancing it's all gone from this Wednesday coming this Wednesday it's all it's all coming to an end so it would appear that things are getting better but we will have to wait and see what happens after all of that occurs so from Wednesday we will be able to go into our shops we will be able to walk around and we won't have to wear our masks from Wednesday the reason why I'm mentioning that is because this Wednesday I am doing something different I am doing a live stream this Wednesday but there will be two live streams just for this week I am doing two live streams there will be a live stream here on YouTube on Wednesday from 2 p.m. but also there will be another one there will be some double trouble on Wednesday because I will also be with you at 10 p.m. UK time on Wednesday so we are doing a special late and live English addict on Wednesday so there will be two live streams I can't believe I'm going to do two live streams on Wednesday but there will be 2 p.m. UK time and also 10 p.m. UK time as well for those watching in South America and also that part of the world because you are behind with the time so your time your morning your afternoon and your evening well they come a little bit later than ours so that's the reason why I'm doing it something special for Wednesday and of course everyone here in England feeling excited because lockdown and all of the other stuff is coming to an end most of the restrictions are going to be dropped this Wednesday they come to an end can you believe it yes another thing I I can believe even though <laughs> I don't know if you've read the news or heard on the news the doomsday clock <laughs> is just 48 seconds away from midnight <laughs> and on that note well at least we've made it to the end of another week and also the end of another weekend as well yes it's Sunday Sunday is here and I hope you are having a good day wherever you are watching in the world wherever you are whatever you are doing I hope you are doing it with a smile on your face hello also to the live chat oh hello live chat hello nice to see you here as well oh very interesting we have well we don't have Vitas today I don't know where Vitas is but we do have in first place on today's live chat congratulations to Valentin you are first on the live chat today <laughs> oh I seem to have no energy I don't know what is happening today I don't seem to have any energy I spent too much time in bed I don't know if you've noticed this but if you spend too much time in bed asleep quite often it takes a long time to get your energy back 
and I don't know why that is if you have a lot of sleep sometimes you feel worse than if you only have a little sleep during the night so if your sleep is disturbed and maybe you don't sleep for very long quite often you find that you feel better the next day but if you sleep for a very long time the next day quite often I will feel worse so I won't actually feel relaxed I won't feel as if I have lots of energy I actually feel worse I don't know why that is congratulations Valentin well done you are first on today's live chat it's very nice to see you all here today we also have euphonium as well Randar Nelly hello Nelly I like your name and I also like your little icon as well nice to see your face sometimes it is nice to put a name to the face it really is Zidzika is here as well we also have Marwa Marwa it's so good to see you here once more Beatrice we also have Maria Fernando we have who else Rosa is here Edith is here Edith Goulet nice to see you back as well very nice also we have Inika hello Inika as well nice to see you back I have noticed over the past three or four weeks we have some new regular viewers chatting with everyone else on the live chat box so it's nice to see that there are some lovely new regular viewers a lot of people always say mr duncan i think that you have your favorite live chat guests now that's not true i don't have favorites but quite often i do have viewers who come back again and again and they like to get involved on the live chat so i don't have favorites because to be honest i love all of you you're all amazing because you have such good taste you have great taste because you're here now watching this that's all i can say <laughs> we also have palmyra and yes luis mendez is here today oh that reminds me thank you very much luis for your photographs you went out for a walk last week apparently luis loves walking and luis visited a very interesting place a lovely place that to be honest with you I, I, I also love the look of I haven't been there but it looks amazing and here it is here is one of the photographs that Lewis sent Park de Secu or skew I think it's skew and I think the reason why it's called that I think it's because it is on a slope because it looks as if this park is actually on a large hill so I have a feeling that Park Descu is actually a sloping park I think the word skew skew is is meaning something that is on a hill or at an angle I might be wrong if I am wrong please let me know but I do remember from my my French lessons at school we used to call or we used to say skew to mean something that is not straight something that is on a hill here's another photograph from Lewis oh this looks lovely I do like wide open spaces and this looks like a good example of a wide open space oh Bella says it is pronounced Sue oh I see okay so I am wrong that's okay it's all right I can be wrong we are all wrong sometimes <laughs> it's just that some of us are wrong more than others and here's another one so apparently this is Parc de Sue 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 
like a, like a girl's name it is a beautiful wide open space and I can also see from the photograph that lots of people are wearing their coats so I would imagine that it is a very beautiful place to walk around especially on a winter's day like in the photographs that Lewis has sent so thank you very much Lewis that is very kind of you thank you for sending your photographs and anyone can send anything to my email if you want to get in touch you can if you want to write to me you can as well and yes you are more than welcome to do that it's not a problem it really isn't if you want to write to me there is my email now on the screen you can see it at the bottom that is my email address you can send a photograph of your dog or your cat or maybe somewhere you've been on holiday or maybe a lovely memory that you want to share with everyone so there it is my email address is on the screen right now and if you want to write to me then feel free it's it's not a problem you really can do it <laughs> it is it is my pleasure <laughs> it's my pleasure to hear from you so thank you Lewis it's very kind of you to do that so apparently my pronunciation my French pronunciation wasn't very good apparently it is Parc des Sous so I thought it was like a slope you see because it looked as if the park was on a slope skew you see I thought skew the word skew means something that is not straight or maybe it is distorted something that is distorted you skew something to distort <laughs> thank you very much for your company today it's lovely to see you yes we do have Mr Steve in around about six or seven minutes from now we will be talking about words we will be looking at words connected to play play it's a very simple word only four letters play you play but you might be surprised to find out how many uses of the word play there actually are there are many uses of the word play as both a verb and also a noun and there are lots of phrases also that use the word play so we will be taking a look at that later on as well also we are talking about names as well there are lots of famous people who have what I call a singular name which means that their name is just one word and I'm sure you can think of many for example Madonna a famous singer from the 1980s Madonna her name is only one word and there are many people many famous people who just have a single name so they don't have two names they don't have a long name with lots of different words or different titles they just have one word so we will be talking about that later on as well lots of things <laughs> including oh <sighs> mr steve is on his way don't worry for those fans of mr steve don't worry he will be here very soon oh also of course we are coming towards the end of january which means february is just around the corner and of course as you know February is a busy month for many people because it means that we have Valentine's Day approaching in around three weeks from now the season of love is also going to arrive during February and don't forget also it's Mr Steve's birthday during February as well so let's take a look at an excerpt from one of my full English lessons and then after this yes I've just mentioned him he will be here live as live can be Mr Steve is on his way 
Stay exactly where you are. Oh, there you are. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan's Full English number five. My name is Mr. Duncan, and I'm ever so pleased to meet you. We are all here again to take a peek into that wonderful world of English. So let us all join hands and say the magic words. For goodness sake, Mr. Duncan, we haven't got all day. Get on with it. Can you see what sort of weather we're having here today? Well, there is poor visibility for a start. It isn't a clear day by any means. It is a foggy day here in England. We can use foggy as an idiom to describe the inability to remember something. We can say, I haven't the foggiest idea which means you do not remember or you cannot recall a certain event or a piece of information. Today's fog has been caused by warm and cold air colliding with each other. This fog is made up of tiny particles of moisture. You often see fog forming in the early morning or evening or as the temperature changes. The subject of weather is a fascinating one and for the typical English person such as myself, it is a subject that is often discussed in general day-to-day -day conversation. <coughs> the two words shown here may look similar, but they are in fact very different. The words perspective and prospective are often confused. That is to say, one is used instead of the other. First of all, the word perspective defines the way in which things are seen, how an object appears depending on its size, shape and relative distance from other things around it. In drawing and painting, perspective is used to give the illusion of depth and distance. We can also use this word to express a person's view of the world as their point of view. A person's perspective of the world. The views and opinions held by us all come from our own perspective. Then there is the word prospective, which means something that is expected or is expecting to be done in the future. Something that is likely to happen at a later date is prospective. I have a prospective client coming to my office tomorrow. So now there is no need to get these words confused ever again. I have given you a clear perspective of what the differences are. I have done this for you now and for all the prospective online students who will join me in the future. Can you see what I have here? This is a saucepan full of boiling water. The hot water is producing steam. Steam is produced when water vaporises. Normally water vapour cannot be seen, but it is possible to show it when extreme temperatures are used. For example, when hot vapour meets cool air. This is one of the ways in which clouds are formed. The process is called evaporation. The word steam can be used in other ways. For example, a person can 
let off steam. This expression means that a person will release their tension and pent-up energy by doing something. The action is normally a physical one, such as going for a run, having a dance, or in extreme cases, screaming out loud. It would be fair to say that we all need to let off steam at some point. It's time to take a look at another part of English grammar, continuing the theme of punctuation that we started in the last Full English. Today we will take a look at the dreaded apostrophe. This particular punctuation mark is a controversial one as its use has been widely disputed over the years. Even now there seems to be some confusion over how it should be used. In general English the apostrophe serves two purposes. To show the possessive quality of something and to show that a word has been shortened or a sentence has been made shorter. In the possessive sense the apostrophe shows that one thing belongs to another. For example, Duncan's pen, Jill's pencil, St Paul's cathedral. The apostrophe can come at the end of the possessive word. For example, the teacher's college is over there. A commonly confused use of the apostrophe comes with the word its. The apostrophe here shows the contraction of it is. It's my birthday today. When the apostrophe is not used, then the possessive tense is being expressed. A mouse has no fur on its tail. Another common mistake made with the apostrophe is to use it to show the plural of ordinary words. This is incorrect. Once again, the apostrophe is only used when you wish to show a possessive clause or the contraction of a word or sentence. Sometimes I enjoy these lessons so much I almost forget that I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> so there it was, one of my many video lessons you can find on YouTube. Yes, they are all listed on my YouTube channel. Check them out when you have time. He's here, baby. Hello. Hello, Mr. He's reliable. He's a person you can always lean on. You see, see what I'm doing there, Steve? Ooh. You can lean on someone. <laughs> you can you can rely on that person being there for you. So that yes. was a good demonstration. Did you enjoy that? That was a literal lean, though, wasn't it? You were talking about a, a metaphoric lean. Yes. Well, that's it. Uh, well, I was just showing it. Yes. Showing it, you see. Sometimes it's good to show the actual meaning of something by using a photograph or very a picture. Good, very good, Mr. Duncan. Or an yes. action. So to lean on someone is to ask them for support. So they will always be there for you. Yes. So I, sometimes I have to lean on Mr. Steve. <laughs> for what sort of support emotional emotional financial can i yes and i have to lean on you mr duncan mental when i need support with technology yes. for example yes or i need support with you know getting angry emotional support as well well of course that is the kind of support that uh, you know people in relationships often give to each other yes i th i think that's one of the things about a relationship that sometimes one person might rely on the other but then later you might find that those roles are reversed and then the other person who looked for support becomes the person who gives the support yes and that's the key to a, a successful relationship over the long term 
that you both have elements of your personality that you can help each other with. They always say the best couples are the ones that use the best parts of their own personalities and their own abilities and talents mm. and that they use those together. So the sum of the two of you is greater. That's what you want in a relationship. Yes. Um, interestingly enough, I met up with some... Uh, and when it goes wrong oh, okay. in a relationship, then it can be very detrimental. Detrimental. I think, I think we be. might be giving away secrets of other people. Let's just say I met up with some friends. Some friends. And they were, uh, which, who I've known for many, many years. Yeah. Five of us. And they were explaining about their relationships. And at least two of them were, were not very happy at all, uh, which is always sad to see when couples have been together for many many years mm. decades so, so are we talking the big d well one definitely said yes um and the other one um interestingly enough said oh i've booked lots of holidays this year mm -hmm. because we're coming out of lockdown i've bought, booked three holidays she wow. said three holidays i said oh that'll be nice for you and your husband and she laughed and said i'm not going with my husband <laughs> which I thought was rather sad. I mean, I know it's nice sometimes to get away. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder mm. is a well-used phrase. Absence, being away from someone, makes the heart grow fonder because yes. you miss that person when you're away from them. Mm. And then you appreciate them more and you come back and, oh, it's all lovey-dovey for a few days and then everything's back to normal again. Yes, it, it's yeah. good to have a break sometimes, a break. You know, the other person in the, rela in the relationship does need to sometimes sort of let the other person be on their own and just sort of, you know, just sort of recover and then, yeah. Well, that can't be you because you always complain. <laughs> when, whenever I go out for a walk, if I disappear from the house, Steve always says afterwards, it was very strange you, you, because you, you weren't in the house. I, I kept thinking you were in your studio or somewhere else in the house but you weren't you were outside so steve does miss me when i'm gone outside when i'm walking around or doing something else you miss me you know you do <laughs> well that's the thing you 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 yes I, I i know at least you know some couples you see the the lockdowns have made some couples realize that they don't want to be together anymore but for some other couples, it's made them realise their relationships actually got stronger. Well, the strange thing is, when lockdowns first started, I predicted <laughs> that there would be lots of divorces. So I, 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 I thought there must be lots of people who will be forced together. They will have to stay together, be near to each other. Yes. But maybe maybe that it is something that might destroy the relationship. I think there have been lockdown murders, haven't there? Have there? Yes, definitely. Couples have. murdering each other because yeah. they used huge. Well, that's extreme. But of course, people have you been used to maybe only spending a few hours together. <laughs> uh, get up, go to work, come home bit of time in the evening together go to bed etc and then during lockdown that's been very difficult but anyway we i think we've spoken about that one before mm. but it, uh, it, it is interesting well the reason why i mentioned that of course is because on wednesday from wednesday here in england it's all over <laughs> apparently apparently we can yes. throw our masks away we can all get close with complete strangers once more. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to that. <laughs> yes, Lirio makes a good point. Uh, can we say that in a relationship there are trade-offs? Yes, that's yes. a good... Oh, well done, I like that. Yes. Uh, Lirio Hoffman, thank you for that mm. comment. I suppose also compromises as well. Yes. Just like anything, like anything. <clears throat> anything in life that you aspire to or something that you want it's never going to be perfect. I think this is one of the criticisms of young people nowadays. Millennials often expect, or at least it appears, that they expect everything to go their way. So everything they want, that, that they feel they must have, or they, they deserve it, even if they've done nothing towards it. So I think that's one of the things with relationships, or anything really. You... you Maybe you put too much 
into your desires or too much into the thing that you want so if you meet a person who appears to be everything you need or everything you want in your life and then you might find that there are some faults some things that maybe you don't like about them or maybe sometime <laughs> <laughs> I, I I know I'm going into very dangerous territory here. The thing is with with, with that there's, there's a trade off. So you get a benefit, <laughs> yes. but there's something that you don't like very much, maybe. But hopefully, the sum of all the different parts of the relationship add up to more than without it. And if they don't, that's when you obviously need yes. to consider. But yeah, exactly. Yes. So you get to be with somebody. And you have the company, but maybe the trade off is you have to put up with some of their mm. annoying habits. Of course, one of the big problems in relationships, this is for the adults now. So if there are any children watching, can you please buy euphonium? Is euphonium going to well, do some cooking? Oh, OK, nice. But one of the big problems in relationships, by the way, any children, can you please cover your ears and your eyes? I'm going to do something and say something now. What happens in relationships yes. and one of the main reasons why, why relationships often break down or come to an end is the lack of sex. sex. Oh, I was going to do something then. <laughs> You've just spoiled my whole. I've just worked up to that lovely moment. Go on, there. then do it again. Let's rewind. <laughs> we rewind because. Go You've, you've ruined it. I haven't ruined it. Just okay. do it again. It's a sort of. Babies. Well, not babies. No, no. You were right. What you said. Sexy time. So when the sexy time stops and it does, if, if you are a young person now in a new relationship and you two can't, you, you never wear clothes because you're always uh, doing the, the 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 mattress mumbo you know what i mean <laughs> all right mr duncan i think we know yes yeah. yes well, i'm just saying i'm saying it without saying it <laughs> but you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yes. out there but it's not all about that but, is but it? if you are in, in a relationship, relationship a new relationship and then suddenly over time you realize that the, the physical side the physical thing gets less and less well, that's not the problem, you see, because that's normal. That's a normal part of a relationship. Well, you, so yeah. what happens is you get get older, you start to have affairs. No. Oh, no, you don't have affairs. <laughs> <laughs> you, can I just say you would never you would never be a very good marriage counsellor. You, you find that you grow closer to each other because because you appreciate each other more and more. So once the physical things have stopped, once you've stopped throwing your clothes off and, and jumping into bed. Yeah, we get it. We get every it. Every five minutes. That, that's all very good and exciting and fun. But once that stops, it doesn't mean your relationship stops. It doesn't mean that, you see, because that's a normal thing. So no, no I'm helping. I think this is helping. I think we are being helpful here. I would be a really good marriage counsellor I would say look think of the things that you have together think of the things that you can enjoy together think of all the things you have in common and how you would miss them if they were not there yeah, you see bye <laughs> Ah, people are still talking about um, Tomek, Alessandra and Lewis mm -hmm. are talking about meeting up in Paris and going for a walk and we weren't invited. Hmm. I'm only joking. Uh, we know we are invited. Wouldn't that be lovely? It would be lovely. Yes, it would be lovely. Uh, and so it's still on. People are still talking about this possibility of us all meeting up. Yes. In Paris. So, uh, you know, or wherever that might be. Yes. Oh, by the way, Luis Mendez sent some lovely photographs. Oh. Of a place he went to a few days ago. Uh, for, for, for a lovely walk and uh, this is a beautiful park not far away from where Lewis lives there it is isn't that beautiful wow that it is, is lovely it is the park des Sioux I pronounced it wrong earlier 
Ah, right. <laughs> but Parc de Sioux is what it's called. It looks lovely. I love those big, wide open spaces. It's one of the things that we, we sometimes lack here in England. So you have to sometimes travel quite a long distance to find large open spaces like that. But it's a beautiful place. So maybe we could meet up there by the fountain. Boulevards. We could we could meet by the fountain. So that could be our meeting place, Steve. <laughs> where, yes. we, where we all meet up in France. <laughs> but but we don't think that's going to happen until maybe 2023. No, no, no. It'll happen oh, this year, Mr. Duncan. I don't want the conversation. I don't want that conversation. We can't, it's too far away. Everyone will forget about it and get <laughs> bored and they'd have moved on. We've got to strike while the iron's hot. There's a good idiom for you. Strike while the iron's hot. Yes. Yes, You've got to do something now or you lose the opportunity yes. to do it later. OK. Well, we are 48 seconds away from Doomsday. You know that, don't you? No, what's happening? Yeah, haven't you heard? No. The, do the Doomsday clock is just 48 seconds away from midnight now. Whose clock is this? Well, the Doomsday clock. You must have heard of it. Well, I have, but it's I, something I that's been around was, uh, since I think it's been around since the 50s. So the night I'm sure it's the 1950s. You used to see the doomsday clock all the time. It was always on television. No wonder people in the 1950s were so miserable. <laughs> they, every night they got to see the doomsday clock. So apparently it's 48 seconds away from midnight. And apparently when it when it hits midnight, that's it. It's game over. Midnight it's, it's, tonight. No, not midnight tonight. What do you want about? You said when the stock clock strikes midnight oh i see no when the the clock is a, is is a representation of of the peril of humanity so at the moment it's just 48 seconds away oh it's, i see right. you must, <laughs> well i haven't looked in i can't remember mr duncan the exact details of the okay. do so when's it when when's the world coming to an end then well it, it isn't when oh i it's, thought you said it was today that's, that's the, that's the no, impression i was getting it's figuratively Fine. So it's yes. used uh, as an exact uh, to, sh to show that to indicate how perilous the humanity or the human race is at the moment. So it is. It used to be like two or three minutes away from midnight, but they've moved the hand and now it's only 48 seconds <laughs> away from midnight. So so when that hand moves to midnight, I don't know who's going to do that, <laughs> because if they move it to midnight, that means that it's over anyway. So there will be no one there will be no one there to actually move the hand to midnight. I don't think we need to worry too much, Mr. Duncan. It's a paradox when you think about it. It could be a thousand years away. Those yes. 48 seconds could be a thousand years. Well, and then we know ultimately it's all coming to an end. We know okay. that anyway. OK, Steve. It's oh, just to, you know, we've got to enjoy our lives while I we think, can. I think what they're talking about is our own, our own destruction because of us. Yes, my, yes. <laughs> I mean, this, this, uh, Live stream has taken a very downward turn. No, wait, wait, it's in the news. <laughs> oh, right. It's I all people are that. talking about today. <laughs> they, they all seem to think that if that if the if the seconds count down any more, that things are going to get worse. You That's see. because they, you know, as soon as people worry about we've we've just had a pandemic and now there's a possible war, uh, you know, maybe starting with a couple of countries who we won't mention because I mentioned it last week and. Probably shouldn't have done. Uh, so, yes, there's, there's always we're, we're always on the edge of peril. Um, and especially uh, here on this yeah. live stream. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's right. We're always on the edge of peril. I mean, a, a meteorite could strike at any moment. Well, one did last week. Uh, almost. Well, that's it. There, there's yeah. always there's always some danger on the horizon. It was just a million miles away. There was a, a meteorite went by and it was only one million miles away. Apparently, that's like that's like your, your front doorstep <laughs> in, in, in space terms. That's like just outside your front door. Apparently. And the last time a really, really big one hit the Earth, it was millions of years ago, hmm. you know, when it wiped out the dinosaurs, apparently. So, you know. The big ones don't happen. Yes. You can't worry about it. There's nothing we can do about it. Although they did try an experiment. Did they? Yes, they've tried an experiment to try and determine this is what, what they're going to do in the future 
if they can you can see this meteorite coming towards the earth <laughs> how could you deflect it of course I, I know i know you could you could launch james corden into space and you could launch oh, james corden at it and then he will just smash into it and obliterate well they the have what they've done is that they've sent a, a, a spaceship up and they've crashed it a spaceship yeah they've have sent they? uh, they've sent a spaceship and they've deliberately crashed it into uh, an asteroid okay i think it's an asteroid and uh, to see if even though the spaceship was very very small compared to the asteroid mm -hmm. they wanted to see if that small impact would what effect would it have on the orbit of i think it was an asteroid going around another asteroid or something they wanted to uh look at the principle of if you crash something into another object in space a long way away how much would it deflect the path mm. and of course if it's a million miles away even the mo most minutest change in traje trajectory caused by an impact of something else that's a good word might just be enough to send it round oh i see and misses so they have actually i don't know what the results are but we've actually deliberately crashed a spaceship into yes. an asteroid to yes. see what the effects are oh, okay uh, and as as a result of that they want to learn from that as to how they could possibly prevent if they detected something coming towards us what could you do hmm. do you set off an atomic bomb near it yes or something you oh. could you could send bruce willis he's done it before he's done it before he's good at that i've seen i saw the movie Today we're looking at words, by the way, connected to a very simple word, play. It, w it would appear that play mm. is a very simple word. It doesn't seem very complex or complicated. So we are doing that a little bit later on. Lovely. What, what's, what now, Steve? Uh, well, Lewis, you see, is inviting us over uh, and said that there's room enough for the two of us. <laughs> Uh, to stay in their flat, which would be <laughs> lovely. Yeah. Are you sure you want that? <laughs> Are you that now? Can I just say, mm. can I just you've got to really be prepared because the, this is it's all right when you watch us here on this because you, you can always switch switch us off. You can always press the little X <laughs> in the corner and turn us off. But if you have us in real life, you can't you can't press <laughs> eject. In real life, we're, 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 we're very depressing people to be around. No, I didn't mean that. Uh, I'm not about that. I'm just about generally just 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 having us around. I think all these years now, I think we all know each other. I mean, the, 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 I mean, the one we don't know anything about, of course, is Tomek. Uh, we don't know anything. I don't about think Tomek, but Tomek hasn't invited us. <laughs> so <laughs> he's he's the mystery. The, the curve ball okay the, 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 you know the person that could I, you know we don't know what he does do we I don't well I don't <laughs> I, I don't know where you're going with that but we're not going to see Tomek well we're all meeting up in Paris aren't yes we? I know but what yeah that's, that's the context is staying with Lewis I know I know it is but yeah <laughs> just <laughs> just I, I, can't, I can't keep up with your conversation it's <laughs> One of us may have to leave and you're, go and stay in a hotel. You are in a very weird mood today. You, you, when I woke up this morning, I saw Steve and his face was was he looked, looked so miserable. I Me? Thought, yes, this morning your face looked like thunder, and and so so I, I tried to cheer Steve up, and, and but now you seem much more excited. Well, it's because I'm with people I like. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind. <laughs> you mean me? Well, all of all of you, all of you. Okay. Uh, yes, by the way, um, uh, uh, let's have a look. Uh, mm -hmm. Sida Schwa asks, is this a real background or a, or a virtual one? Oh, behind, it's real. It's that's, real. That's now. And somebody just saw a, a white van go by. Yes. So we know it's real. Yes. So Sida what Schwa. you're what you're watching here to answer your question is live. So that's actually happening now behind us. So anything that happens there is happening now. And there is nothing we can do about it. So if if a dozen naked people run across that field or if a large <laughs> van or a huge wagon or maybe an open top bus with with naked ladies all standing up and waving their hands at us, 
we, we can't control any of that I'm not interested in, in naked ladies on a bus it's happening it's happening right behind us now so that's live we're live <laughs> I think that that is more live than we are <laughs> a lot of people just tune in to watch the background by the way <laughs> <laughs> more interesting than us is, is what you're saying i think so have we seen the film uh edith says and uh, tomek did before he retracted his statement uh don't look up on netflix oh for goodness i am sick of hearing about this program okay you know what well <laughs> if you don't want if you don't want me to watch your tv show that then please don't keep telling me about it on twitter I keep getting things all the time. Ten things you need to know about. Don't look up things that scientists are talking about uh, concerning. Don't look up. And to be honest with you, it's making me not want to look at that TV show. <laughs> <laughs> that Well, that's the thing with you, Mr. Duncan. If too, someone talks a lot about something, you lose interest in it. Too much hype. Too much. Hype. I don't know what it's about. It says it has a very interesting topic. Yes. Um, we don't know what that topic is, but yeah. uh, I don't know any, anything about it because I don't really follow social media. Anything. That's another reason why I didn't watch the um, the Squid Games. I didn't watch the Squid Games for the same reason. I was just sick of hearing about it. I, I'm bored by it <laughs> without even seeing it. So, so if you always tell me about something, it's so anyone from 20th Century Fox or Paramount or, or any of the other big film companies stop telling me about f films and movies that I have to go and see because I, I won't go and see them I won't watch them because I'm, I'm just sick of hearing about it what, what was the other one there was another one recently that they just kept telling us about all the time and I was just oh, enough that's the reason why I didn't watch Stranger Things that was another one that everyone kept talking about all the time and I didn't watch it because I, I just also we don't have Netflix <laughs> that's true that's another reason so because a lot of people now are, are, are leaving Netflix well their share price dropped 20% on Friday yes so ah. so we used to have Netflix but then we got rid of it we stopped using it and, and to be honest I don't miss it at all <laughs> So, oh look here, here's Saturn I'll, I'll just say something else first but yes um, yes Olga says uh, going back to the previous comment about whether this is a real background or not yes Olga says keep watching because it'll get dark mm. as we come towards the end of the live stream yes proving that it is alive and look there's another white van going by another white van uh, well I can just go over there and put my hand in front of the uh, thing you could I, do I yes. show you. Wait there, I'll show you uh, I'll prove that this is live wait there oh. <laughs> and wait while there. you're doing that I'm going to put my hand in front of the camera so you'll see my hand moving we know it's we know most people know it's real yes, I don't think but, you have to but there it. are some people asking if it is <laughs> only one only one uh, and while you're doing that Mr Duncan I'll mention Saturino uh, as to is talking about a TV show that she used to watch when she was younger that Mr. Duncan very much likes, which is Space 1999, oh. uh, where the moon is moving away from the Earth. Yeah, OK, Mr. Duncan, yeah, we can. Well, it, it looks like there's something going wrong with the camera from where, <laughs> from where I'm standing, rather than you putting your hat. We can't see your hand, you see. Well, it's in front of the... Uh, but anyway, you've done that, but there you go. A lot of people saying that they used to watch Space 1999. I love Space 1999. I love it. It's one of my favorite TV shows. I used to watch it as a kid. It was made in the early 1970s. I think 1973 it was made, but it still looks quite good. Some of the stories are quite boring, but but it, yes, it's pretty good. Pretty good TV show. Yes, it turns black because in the UK it starts to get dark around 4.30 at the moment. So that's why it goes dark. We're but, not turning lights off. But the good <laughs> news is the days are getting longer. We are now getting around four minutes extra. Four minutes extra light every day, Steve. Per day. So the days are slowly getting longer. That means spring is coming. Yeah. It's Vitas's birthday tomorrow, by the way. 
is it really yes vitas vitas's birthday tomorrow i didn't know that yes i said well you see i i study the live stream okay i notice these things good uh so happy birthday for tomorrow people have already said to you happy birthday for tomorrow but may we add our congratulations to your birthday tomorrow happy birthday vitas for tomorrow yes. I, I think that deserves a round of applause We won't ask if it's a significant birthday. By significant, I mean, you know, is it uh, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70? <laughs> so is it significant or is it just a normal birthday? Like Steve last year, you had your significant birthday. A lot of people remember it. A lot of people remember last year because I was doing my special live streams and we did a special live stream on your birthday last year. And we a did. Lot, a lot of people remember that. And I opened uh, some rather disappointing presents. That's it. I'm joking. Well, they were lovely. If, if you were they disappointed were last year, <laughs> you are you are definitely going to be disappointed this year. <laughs> well, just like any other year then. <laughs> so happy birthday for tomorrow. Yes. I hope you have a nice cake. I hope you eat something nice. I hope you treat yourself to something special because you have to, you see, you have to. Please, Lisa, Lisa ask, what is the weather like in the UK? Well, it's it's warmer than it was last week. Mm. It's a bit dull. Um, we haven't had. Yes, you can see it there. Uh, is that blue sky? No, it's cloudy. It's cloudy. We have grey sky. Grey sky. It's about six degrees outside. And there is a little crow. Can six you see degrees. the crow sitting in the tree? Oh, yes. There is a crow. It's waiting to fly off. I think that crow is going to fly off in a moment. Let's right. see. In the next 20 seconds, that, fly, that crow is going to fly away. Let's see. No? no? Okay, maybe not. I was hoping it would fly away. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, hello, Mr. Crow. We can see you sitting in the tree, <laughs> minding your own business. Amit mentioned earlier about um, <laughs> wanting to learn English. Amit is in India mm -hmm. and wants to improve their English uh, by meeting up with other people in India. Mm. Well, what a good idea. Uh, and of course, if you can meet up with somebody and practice English face to face, face mm. to face, maybe socially distanced with a mask on, mm. but <laughs> nevertheless near somebody. Well, maybe you could meet up uh, with Nisa. Yes. Or maybe on the uh, Internet. You yes. can do it through the Internet. Because Nisa is in India. I know it's a big country. Uh, but, you know, we're all planning to meet up here. Uh, this year uh, so maybe there could be similar meetups between and we've had that wonderful meetup between our four lovely ladies yes uh, in and in, in whereabouts was it south where, whereabouts did the meetup I can't remember now you can't is it Argentina remember. is it gone is it can't remember is it my my brain come on Mr Duncan tell me yes um, you, 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 it was in uh, Argentina Sao Paulo yes yeah that's right uh, so Maybe, you know, you can start have a little meet up in India and tell us all about it. Send us the pictures like our four wonderful girls did. There they are. There they are. Marcia, Beatrice, Claudia, Sandra. Not in that order, of course. But yes, thanks a lot for that again. I think, yes. I think we will show that every week. But yes, it, it, yeah. it's amazing. One of the things I always find incredible, Steve, is we think that this... Let's be honest, Steve. We don't think this is very good. <laughs> I, I sometimes cry at night. I come downstairs and I sit on the floor and I weep because I think this is awful. I think this is terrible. The worst thing ever. Are you having doubts, Mr. Duncan? <laughs> Are you having doubts? 15 years of doing this. You, you have no idea how much heartache doing this actually causes. But I, I, I don't think this is very good. But however, However, I've changed my mind over the past few months because now I think maybe we are doing something special. Maybe this is something special because we seem to be touching a lot of people's lives. Well, it's wonderful. I just love the fact that uh, 
we've got lovely friends that come on mm. and that know us and come on every week loyal people and they they want to see us and we want to see them it's yes. it's, it's two way it's two way believe me you know i really enjoy coming on on a mm. sunday and having banter banter which is you know sort of talking to and talking mm. to one another well banter um, normally also is is you saying things to each other that might be offensive <laughs> well banter it can be friend you know chit can chat. be friend chit chat chit yeah. chat that's right but yes that's uh, it so so uh, it, it, it's interesting it's very hard to understand that the w what this is actually doing from here because we're standing here in, in this real situation whilst you are there in your real situation watching us on a screen so it's, it's it's a very strange thing i will never ever quite appreciate how this works because it's incredible it really is the most amazing thing that, that you can just stand in, in your house or in the place where you live and talk to other people and vice versa as well incredible uh, we got nisa is asking amit where whereabouts in india are you so the conversation has started yeah this is it you never know where these things will lead exactly. well it's happened thanks to our four beautiful girls meeting up in argentina and it'd be lovely if that happened in other places and then as we have said we will go on a world tour and meet up with everybody yes groups in different countries because you know we're, we're so wealthy i just need to win the lottery yeah we and, need to, uh, we need to win the lottery first before we can do that so yes we will we'll start small with france or paris and then work up anyway we have lots of things to talk about today steve talking about names now this week some sad news i don't i don't want to be sad i don't want to be depressing but yes uh, the entertainment world lost uh, a big name meatloaf i remember his music from the late well the early mid mid 70s i think mid to late 70s and then in the 80s and uh, i always thought that meatloaf was was one word but it isn't it's two words so it's kind of spoiled the thing that i had planned today <laughs> but sadly meatloaf died and i think he'd been ill for some time but one of my favorite songs by meatloaf was dead ringer for love the most amazing song and also the most amazing video not only meatloaf but also Cher as well a very well-known singer from the 1960s she used to sing with her husband Sonny and they were known as Sonny and Cher can you name the song that they had a big hit with oh uh, let me think let me think yes da, 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 da. yes um <laughs> what was that oh, it's coming to me i can see it now i can see it now but i can't i'm trying to think of a, a lyric from it uh i got you babe yes well done oh. uh, it's nice to see that brain cell is is working <laughs> it took a while <laughs> ah, yeah i bet you're amazed that i actually got that yeah. well i thought you're da, 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 da. <laughs> i wasn't sure what that was yes sunny and Cher. i got you babe although of course Sonny Bono mm. <laughs> was not a very nice man allegedly allegedly or was it uh... no I don't think there was any alleged he was he oh. was a he was a bit of a rat bag <laughs> Tom are you naming the song or is that a a statement just for me I think it's a statement <laughs> I think he's sending you cryptic messages yes. through the internet I'm joking, anyway joking. meatloaf died sadly but he also had a song in the charts with Cher many years ago and it suddenly inspired me to talk about people or well-known people who have singular names and we've got an example we've got some examples right here on the screen so there we go Steve so I just mentioned Cher didn't I you did so, so she's at the top Cher but what's her real name oh um, ah. Marcia Smith is it i don't know well oh okay i believe i just made that up i, I don't know what it is <laughs> i don't know what so there's share it'll be a boring name share well-known singer not so much nowadays i don't think we hear much about share anymore 
and then underneath underneath share <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of men have had that fantasy before <laughs> we we have Madonna Madonna famous singer in the yes. 80s also apparently still very popular in certain parts of the world Madonna so another person with a single name and then we have Prince the artist well the artist the artist formerly known as alive <laughs> prince who changed his name to symbol or something yeah, didn't he it was just a squiggly line with an yes. arrow yeah i don't know why he did that and then we have oh look it's moliere moliere welcome back oh last week we had some fun didn't we have you got any more facts about Moliere. Moliere. Can you go over that way? He's not really a. That's yeah, it. OK. That's better. It's strange that you put him in that list of relatively up to date singers from the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And then in there you stick Moliere, who's from the 17th century. Well, of course, uh, he, did, he didn't use his real name. Was he a pop singer? No, he wasn't. OK. But as we talked about last week, Moliere was a very mm. famous playwright, actor in, 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 in the French artistic uh, would you would you say the crowd the crowd he was he was one of the cool hipsters in 16th century france <laughs> who's blade moliere so so that wasn't his real name but that's that's the name he used people are switching off by the way now that you've mentioned moliere again. moliere i might do a whole live stream one week on moliere and then underneath we have sting <laughs> it's a very that's quite a contrast by the way from Moliere to Sting Sting of course was well is or was a member of police the police or police a pop group one of their biggest hits was um Sting let me think of a hit of Sting or, uh, or the police or the police um Roxanne Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Roxanne. Yes. All about a lady of the night. Oh, that's what it's about. It's about you don't need to put your red light on. There's no need to put your red light on. You don't have to put on your red light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that me? Yes. Oh, oh it was. Are you going to ask me for everyone? Do my, I remember a song? My favorite police song was Walking on the Moon. I don't know why. I love that song. Giant steps are what we take, walking on the moon. And he's got a very high I, voice for a man. I haven't finished. I hope my knees don't break, walking on, walking on the moon. Uh, oh, message in a bottle. That's another one. Every breath you take. I hope they will, um, you know. Every breath you take. Oh, yes, that's a good one. A good one. Much Comics later. mentioned that yes, one. from the 1980s. And so, yes, there are, there are a lot of... Yes, oh, yes we're getting an idea of Tom X age Sting, now. Sting's real name is Gordon Sumner. Gordon. So I can see why he play, he changed his name to Sting. Gordon. <laughs> I don't think he would have had quite the same success had he called him himself Gordon. <laughs> uh, Blade. Now... I know what you're going to say, Mr. Duncan, you stupid man, you idiot. Blade is not real. It's a fictitious character. Yes, you are right. <laughs> he is. Uh, he, he's a fictitious vampire killer <laughs> from a movie. I think it was Wesley Snipes. Was it Wesley Snipes? Wesley Snipes. I love that name, by so the way. So why have you put Blade in there then? Well, it's just a single name. He of was, somebody that doesn't exist. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Basically. <laughs> Blade. But I, I think it's great. Have you ever seen those movies? They're very violent. Blade. He, he plays a vampire killer. He chases the vampires around. And then we have someone that you, you may not have heard of before. Perhaps. Lulu. 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 She's still going strong. Do you remember Lulu? Yes. Boom, bang, a bang. Was that was that Lulu or is it? <laughs> she starts a song like that, doesn't she, Lulu? It's, oh, I think you mean well. <laughs> get 
know you'd make me wanna dance. Shout. <laughs> Shout. Shout. Do, you, do you know any songs, the actual title of them? I only know Gilbert and Sullivan. You make me wanna shout, <laughs> shout, <laughs> Lulu. Very famous in the 60s. She was, yes. A very distinctive voice. <laughs> and then we have... A well-known uh, pop singer, Maradona. Maradona. Now, not to be confused with Madonna and Maradona. Maradona, of course, sadly no longer with us. A football player. But he must have had a surname. But his his well, his that's his given name. That that's his family name. So his first name was Diego. Diego Maradona. But most people would refer to him as just Maradona. And I think there is something rather rather magical and, and mysterious about having just one name. So instead of having two names, you just have one name. So Maradona, Lulu. Blade, Sting, Moliere, Sugarly, anyway, right. Prince, Madonna and Cher. And finally, we have, of course, that lady who at the moment is being talked about by everyone. And to be honest, I, I just can't take any more. I can't take any more of people talking about Adele all the time. Every day I have to hear this. Adele has put some new shoes on. Adele has gone to the shops to buy some bread. Adele has a new dog. Adele has broken wind. See, I do, I'm blissfully unaware of all this because I don't have any connections with social media. So I'm... I've got a Facebook account, but I never look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, the only the only reason I ever set one up is because when I was rehearsing for uh, a show many years ago, you had to be on Facebook to get the updates on rehearsal times and things. <laughs> so I've I never look at it. Very rarely, I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on what other ones are there. <laughs> That's great. MySpace. I'm not on any of those. Steve is not on MySpace. I just haven't got the time. He's not on Vine. <laughs> I'm not on anything. Uh, <laughs> By the way, I'm naming ones that no one uses anymore. <laughs> all right. I think Steve should have a MySpace <laughs> profile. It would be great if, if we could get Mr. Steve onto MySpace. <laughs> Talking of football players, Lewis is mentioning that Pele is... is uh, I think he's mentioned it before is not very well no. at the moment again another singular name a singular name one name yes i mean yeah that's how what well, do footballers do we just call footballers by their last name not really i don't think david beckham is known as david beckham beckham i mean quite no. often if you're I talking about is, a person he? but yes bex they call him Bex. Yeah, but for a that's while. just a nickname, isn't it? Yes, I'm just saying. But I don't think I don't think they know him as Beckham. Beckham. They don't just say hello, Beckham. I think <laughs> football. I think uh, pop singers are the best example yeah. of because that's not their real name. It's is their it? stage name. That's their stage name. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. So we've got quite a collection there. I, I'm trying to think of another one. Uh, there are there are actually many others. Yes, if you can get that catchy one name to call yourself, then uh, particularly in the pop world, uh, then, uh, you know, that's going to stick and people are going to remember you, go to your concerts and buy your records. That's it. It's easy to remember if it's just one word. <laughs> so what would your singular name be, Mr. Steve, if you could choose a name that would sum all of your character up? What would it be? Hulk. Would Hulk. Hulk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd, like, is, I'd be Hulk. If definitely. There, if there is one word, if there is one word. Mustang. Mustang. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what would suit me uh, as a one word. Stevie. <laughs> well, that's just Steve, isn't it? But Stevie can be uh, sh that. That's a uh, ah, yes. You can that can be used for a male or a female. Yes. can't it, Stevie? Yes. So I don't know. So so if you were, imagine that that you had to perform on stage and you would have a stage name, what would it be? It would be sort of something I don't know. Um, <laughs> paradox. <laughs> paradox. That sounds pretentious. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. 
paradox because you are a bit of a paradox to be honest I will be honest with you <laughs> a paradox a paradox a most ingenious paradox ha 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 it's a song from Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. And that's totally. where it that's where it should stay, to be honest. <laughs> so we have some words coming up in a moment connected to the word play. You would imagine that play is a simple word, but it isn't. It's a word that has many, 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 many meanings. Did you enjoy that? I thought that was quite nice. So here we go then we've got some play words and phrases so this is the part of the show where we talk about a certain word we go through many of the uses if you want to join in as well you can you are more than welcome if you want to tell me what share her real name is you can tell me you can tell me what it is you can say mr duncan shares real name is brenda brenda sausage meat it isn't by the way it isn't by the way i'd like suggestions for my you know when i start my pop career yeah. uh as you know just a, a, a one name <laughs> nothing rude for me please not the obvious ones nothing beginning with w or c c <laughs> words and phrases connected with <laughs> play play so it seems like a simple word doesn't it Steve but it isn't it's very complicated so first of all we can use play as a verb which means to engage in activity for enjoyment and recreation rather than a serious or practical purpose so you are doing something for fun I suppose that's the best way of describing that as a verb play you play a game you, you are playing you are doing it so to do something that is not serious, you're not going to work. In fact, quite often, Steve, we often divide those two things, don't we? Work or play. So those two things are often divided. Yes. So in that sense, we are using play to mean an activity that we do for enjoyment and recreation and rather than something serious. And if you uh, look at the work environment, Quite often, a very common phrase that uh, enthusiastic employees will will mention is that in this company, we like to work hard and we like to play hard. Yes. Uh, how many times have I heard that expression mm. in the work environment? Yeah. Giving the impression that, you know, this is a great work environment to be in we're all working hard at the job during the day then at night we're all going out and we're partying hard mm. we're doing everything hard yes. you know there's no relaxing in see what that says to me is i wouldn't like to work there a place that where they're working hard and playing hard you're not going to get any rest no. there's too much pressure yes. I found that you, you go out for drinks with work colleagues in the evening. And if you're not, you know, getting drunk with everybody and staying up really late and then going out to nightclubs, then you're seen in a negative frame of mind. This sounds you like know, a rant. I just want to go to bed. I think Steve is, compla you know. <laughs> Steve is complaining again about his, his work. <laughs> yes. And, and that's, when you join a new place of work, you've got to be working hard and playing hard because otherwise people think that you're not a good employee mm. um, here's another one we're running out of time already it's incredible how fast today has gone it always goes quickly i had some messages last week saying mr duncan your your two hours goes by so fast it well, does guess what on wednesday as a way of celebrating the end of masks and social distancing and all of that rubbish <laughs> I will be with you on Wednesday live twice at 2 p.m. UK time and also 10 p.m. I'm doing a special late and live and Mr. Steve might also be joining us. We're not sure yet, are First we? First I've heard of that, Mr. Yes, Duncan. well, that's, I like to get these surprises. Late and live. Yes, late and live. Like a late, well, it'll be late for us. I'm yes. not sure about other people. Well, no, it won't be for everyone. <laughs> Because for some people it'll be early, especially those living in South America. So that's what we're doing. Another verb play means 
well if we are doing something with an object to engage in a game or activity for enjoyment so you play tennis you play football you are doing it you are playing the game you are doing it so something that you are doing with a ball you play with a ball you play with a dart <laughs> marty you, d oh Mar we you, know who marty d is hello marty martin that's martin. that's that's a person we know in real life so if you want to find out all of the dirt all of the bad things about us ask marty because he knows us personally so marty don't worry if you get any messages from people saying tell us all about duncan and steve what are they like in real life uh, and well uh, martin or marty sorry has uh, has used uh, referring to football ball is in play yes it is yes yes thank you for that something in play we are looking at that later because that is actually used as a noun play means to engage in a game or activity with an object so you are playing with a ball you are playing with a shuttlecock <laughs> what <laughs> when was the last time you played with a shuttlecock many years ago <laughs> <laughs> Num number three play means to amuse oneself by engaging in imaginative pretense so it's, it's a very strange way of talking about just having a little bit of fun in, in a fantasy world maybe you go off and you amuse yourself with something you are doing it so you maybe you pretend quite often as a child you might pretend to to be something you are not Maybe you pretend to be a fireman or maybe you play doctors and nurses with mm. the girl down the road <laughs> or the boy down the road. So to play means to amuse oneself by engaging in imaginative pretense. You are amusing yourself. You are doing something that is fun and you are passing the time to play. You can uh, play with ideas, can't you? Yes. If you're trying to sort out a project, uh, there's always a project at work. You're 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 playing with ideas. You're you're you, you want to do something. Uh, maybe you want to, I don't know, build an extension on your house, and you might. How do you want that extension to look like? Do you want it to be? Uh, do you want it to have a pitched roof, a flat roof? How big do you want it to be? Mm. Uh, what's the construction? You can play with the ideas yes. about what you might want to do. Yes. And as a result of that, you will come up with whatever is the best idea. Another that way, you want. another way of uh, describing that is to to figure something out. If you are figuring something out, you are trying to work out how to do something. You will play with some ideas so lots of people that. coming up with uh, suggestions here um well here's one for you steve we've got some on the screen verb play means with an object to represent a character in a theatrical performance or film something you have done many times and something that marty just suggested yes as well perform so, in a play that's it so you are doing it you are playing a character you are doing something on a stage you are putting on a performance you are doing it you you are playing a part so mr steve over the years has played he has played many parts he's been the king of siam he's been ebenezer scrooge although to be honest with you in real life that was in, uh, in real life mr steve is ebenezer was my least challenging role he was also fagin in Again. olive in oliver that was good fun yeah and marty of course uh has also played many roles as well and i've been in lots of musicals with him yes that's where our connection our paths have crossed okay. on the stage that's that's good. I'm, I'm glad, glad you told us that, Steve. We got we got the backstory. Yeah, the backstory. We got and, the backstory uh, of Steve and Marty. 
<laughs> we've, got to get, we've got to get some dirt on Marty. No. Uh, because you've got that's it, you see, because he knows a lot about us. He's got all the dirt. Uh, he's he, got all he the dirt. He could spill the beans. He could tell you all the secrets that we have. Although he says he's not going to, which is which is good. Thanks for that. All but, the, re the real things. But just happen. as a bit of security, um, we need to get some dirt on Marty no. so that you've always got that there because but, that that you can use that then if they then threaten you. You yes. say, ah, oh, well, if you say that, I've got this information on you. Yes. <laughs> It's a bit like politics. Politics is like that. Everyone always has something ready, a little bit of a scandal or something that that the other person does not want you to know about, such as, I don't know, parties that you've been having when you should not have been. Play date. Here's another one, Steve. I've got some here on the screen to to make a movie. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Play means to make a move in a game, to show a card or move a piece. So in those particular examples, we are talking about playing, for example, poker. Or maybe you are playing chess. You play your piece. You are moving it or you are showing your card. So I think that's quite a good one. Mm. I hope you are enjoying these examples. Oh, we've got lots of suggestions coming onto the live chat. Here's another one to to cause music or other sounds to be heard through the use of a device is play. So, for example, you might play a song on your phone. You play a piece of music on your telephone or you might play the piano mm. or play a violin. Mm. So to play. You play a song, you play a piece of music, you play an MP3 file on your device. You may maybe if you are old fashioned like us, maybe you play some music on a tape recorder. Who uses tape recorders now? I don't think anyone uses cassette tapes, to be honest. I don't think so. Yeah, we've got Ik, uh, Iqbal says this is my first time with you both live. Welcome. Iqbal. Iqbal. Yes. Hello to Iqbal Hussein. And also we can see you as well on your little icon. Oh, good. Except it's so small. I can't. It's nice to have a picture, though. Yes, it's good. Here's another one, Steve. A position being held by someone taking part in a sporting event is play. So their position where, where they, they are playing in goal. Oh, yes. They are playing in centre forward. Don't ask me what that means because I have no idea. They are playing left wing or they are playing centre wing. <laughs> Is there such a thing? I don't think even so. I know there isn't. <laughs> you can see that I don't know anything about football. All I know is there is a large ball and lots of sweaty men in shorts. And that's it. That's all my knowledge gone. <laughs> that's it. The end of my knowledge. Well, here's another one by uh, Iqbal. New on the live stream, but already taking part. Uh, hello, Iqbal. Uh, a role play. Ah, that's a good one. A role I like play. That. Yes. If you role play, role play, you are assuming an identity or you are pretending to be something or someone else. You are role playing. You are acting out maybe in a situation role playing that's a good one thank you Iqbal. it is yes you you can do that in the theater uh but you can uh, you can do that you know in many other areas of life a role play pretending to be somebody else uh we also have somebody else new who is revealing themselves to us on the live chat oh uh, manu prasai sorry if i've pronounced your name incorrectly also uh, their first time on the live stream. Hello, Manu. So Welcome. Thank you very much for revealing yourself to us. Welcome. Um, and feel free to. Well, it's a very friend. This is a very friendly environment, a safe environment, in which to exchange ideas for most of the and, time. Uh, <laughs> learn English for most of the time. <laughs> for most of the time, <laughs> there are certain people who will uh, probably upset you. But, but no, we're joking. We're joking. Um, Here's another one, Steve. Another word, play, words and phrases as a verb. To move lightly and appear to dance around is play. You might say that the 
the, the, the beams of light played so they're moving around they're flickering and dancing the moonlight played on the water hmm, that's it so Flickered. there is movement but there is no object actually involved it is the appearance of something dancing and yes moving around very and nice. something yeah exactly light yes. can can play on something here's another one i got the pronunciation right oh manu prasai well done steve i'm getting good at this i'm getting good you at are this. getting very good <laughs> where are you from we want to know where you're from please which because country are you from it'd be lovely to know number nine to perform on a musical instrument ah. is play so this is quite obvious i suppose you play the piano you play the drums you play the guitar you play the euphonium <laughs> because we do have someone called euphonium here on the live chat we do who plays the euphonium oh um, carry on, Mr. Duncan. Oh, OK. On, Mr. Duncan. I was waiting for, for Miss, Mr. Steve's pronunciation of something then, but nothing happened. Do you, Cuba Bataria. OK. Have I got that right? Cuba. Cuba, oh, Cuba yes. Bataria. Also, first to be in this sort of live stream. Oh, hello. Wow. Thank you. Thank Cuba. you for revealing yourself. Thank you, Cuba. Cuba Bataria. Yes, I think that is from Nepal. I think that's good, Steve. I think you've got the pronunciation there. Nepal. Hello, Nepal. I don't think we've ever had anyone say hello from Nepal live before. I think you might be the don't first think we one. Have. The first one ever. I don't think we have. Uh, and Raphael, yes, this is live. Yes. This is live. Now. It's Raphael. happening now the fact that i've just picked your name out of the live chat and, and have said that we're live hopefully will convince you mm. that we are live it is now there is the time uk time 339 i thought you were pointing at my head 339 on a sunday afternoon uk time we are as live as live can be yes palmyra my my uh, palmyra says my granddaughter gra my granddaughter plays the oboe Yes. Ooh, OK. That's a good use of the word. Oboe. Yeah. Is that the big long thing? It looks like a giant didgeridoo with a, with a little pipe coming out of it. <laughs> or is that something else? <laughs> is that something illegal? <laughs> there we go. See, Nisa yeah, is, is very close by uh, in, in uh, Bihar, a, a part of, uh, of India. Hopefully I'll pronounce that right as well. Christina's going, so we'll say goodbye to Christina. Uh, yeah. yeah see look how friendly everybody is we have nouns play nouns to be at play is self-amusement you are at play maybe the children are at play in the garden they are doing it they are actively playing and we use this as a noun you are at play we will get through these very quickly Steve the conducting yes of a sporting match so again we're using this as a noun the conducting of a sporting match it is the second day of play so maybe a cricket match and maybe it is the second day of that match it is the second day of play a pre-rehearsed theatrical performance is a play you put on a play and Mr. Steve, as we mentioned earlier, Mr. Steve has been in many performances, many plays in the past. You might go to see a play. You might see some of your friends put on a play. They perform in a play. And the last one for our list, a button or switch used to activate a device a play button for example quite often when you want to watch a YouTube video you will press the play button you will press the play button to make it play start or of course the play button can also be something that YouTube gives to you when you reach a milestone of your subscribers but 
i've never received one i've never had a play button ever from youtube which i think is very 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 sad indeed anything steve yes well uh, atomic came up with a word uh, a player oh a person who this refers to a person well you've got a player somebody that is like a football player mm, that they are a person that takes part in something yes if you take part in a match a football match a tennis match whatever that sport is a cricket match you are a player mm. a part of a team one of the people who are playing mm. somebody who plays is a player yes but also um if you use that to describe a particular individual a player can be seen in a negative way mm. if you say oh he's a player mm. it means somebody who in relationship terms is somebody that doesn't stick to one person mm. they have relationships with lots of different people mm. and they don't usually tell the other people that they're involved with other people mm. and they're probably using those people in some way for money or some advantage yes they're a player they're somebody and you can have that in their con their pe their con men or con women yeah quite often quite they? often you might you might find um yes a, i know you a, didn't a, mean that topic a, yeah <laughs> go on carry on <laughs> carry okay. on where was i <laughs> a, a young person maybe a young man he's very attractive and he can get lots and lots of girlfriends and you might have three or four girlfriends and he goes from one to the other he and, and used in a negative sense they might describe that person as a player so he's not a person who you can trust in a relationship yes that's it and they're probably after something Yes. after from all those people money it can be a man or a woman you know it can work both ways i think usually it's thought of as a man but it can work uh, both ways mm. and that of course is exactly what tomek meant mm. when he used the word uh, <laughs> yes we do have some play phrases <laughs> i didn't yes exactly play date yes here, here we go steve oh, right okay <laughs> we haven't quite finished yet here we go so we have some phrases connected to play we've had one or two already for example you might play with fire mm. Ooh, a person who is doing something that might be risky or dangerous something that might cause that person to be harmed or even killed a person who might come to harm whilst doing something we say that that person is playing with fire they are doing something that might get them into trouble or might cause them actual harm perhaps maybe at work maybe if you are at work and your your boss has a beautiful wife and you start to flirt and chat mm. to your boss's wife and then one of you one of the other work colleagues might say be careful you are playing with fire you are going to get into trouble if you are caught you're in a dangerous situation that could get you fired from your job but yes or, or, or but you can use that in in many other in, in many other ways mm. you can you can be um joking with somebody about their appearance for example uh and you might be making a joke about their appearance but somebody else knows that that person is very sensitive about their appearance mm. and uh takes you to one side and says oh, you know you're playing with fire if you keep on joking about their appearance they might get very angry mm. with you yes yes similar to skating on thin ice yes, yes. very Thank similar you are doing something that might get you into trouble if you keep doing it here's another one steve this is something for all those young lovers because of course we have valentine's day coming up oh yes in three weeks just before Steve's birthday we have Valentine's Day and maybe if you are perhaps you are pursuing a girl or a boy and you want them to become your partner but maybe that person appears uninterested they are playing 
hard to get ah, right so to play hard to get play hard to get means you are pretending to be uninterested in something normally another person if they are trying to date you or take you out on a romantic date somewhere but you will go I, I don't think so no no I'm not interested no no because you 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 want that person to actually date you but you are just playing hard to get because you want to find out what their real intentions are yes if people play hard to get in a relationship situation it's probably because they don't just want a casual relationship mm. Yes. They want to find out whether you really have feelings for them mm. or whether you just want to get them into bed, mm. for example. Or sometimes they just like the chase. <laughs> yes. Well. Maybe they just they, like yeah. to be pursued. Playing hard to get. So they will reject your advances. Mm. They may ignore your text messages or your invites to go out for an evening mm. to the but, cinema or to a restaurant. But really, they are interested. Really, they are interested. But they're just pretending. Because they want to see. Hmm, I want to see what that person is really like. Are they really serious about a relationship with me hmm. and to test them? Because obviously, if they gave up at the first rejection. Yes. If uh, you were asking somebody out, he said, oh, do you want to go out for a meal? I'd like to take you out for a meal. If they say no on the first one and then you don't, you know, they're, they're trying to test you. So if you never ask them again they'll know that they weren't really serious about mm. having a yes. relationship with you. Maybe they were just after one thing. Claudia. <laughs> Maybe they were after Claudia. Claudia, hello. Yes, you can you, you can tell someone not to play hard to get. You, you want that person to be a little bit more open and maybe to be a little bit more willing. So, yes, that's a good one as well. Here's one, Steve. <laughs> play the fool. Yes, that's it. Oh, yeah, go on, yes. Play the fool. A person who pretends to be stupid or a person who pretends not to know something. You are playing the fool. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know what happened. And they said, oh, come on. Don't play the fool. Don't pretend to be stupid or don't pretend not to know. You, you really do know. And, of course, you can just play the fool by being silly by being a silly person yes you can say that you play the fool you are acting in a, a childish way so there are two ways of using this particular phrase that's right there are subtle differences with these phrases like hmm. louis uh, uh louis the 17th has said uh, um about the word uh when we use the word player there is a subtle difference. A womanizer, a womanizer is like a man who uses a woman sexually. Mm -hmm. But a player is slightly different. It is slightly different. It would be somebody who wasn't just after sex. Maybe they were after something else. Yes. It's they've got another motive. Mm. Um, a hidden agenda. A player. It's usually somebody who is after something mm. from lots of people and there yes it could be just sex but usually it's something else yes quite often well, it's, like it's money or yes more likely money something like that or just revenge even you know it's, it's people people can do some very strange things yes sometimes here's another one steve oh <laughs> now this might <laughs> be this is one that sometimes happens when a husband or a, or a wife she might run off with another man or maybe she finds a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend in a relationship whilst married they might play around oh so they are not staying with their husband or wife they are looking for a secret love they are looking for other people whilst in a relationship they play around they like to play around yes <laughs> Shall we find one that isn't anything to do with infidelity? <laughs> Here's another one. You might play dead. <laughs> play dead. A person might play dead if they pretend. They lie very still. They, they, they don't move. They are pretending to be dead. And there are situations, maybe if there is 
a mass shooting people are being shot you might play dead so that yeah so that you survive so that you survive ironically you play dead to survive Tomic is accusing uh, Alessandra of playing hard to get <laughs> okay in a joke with in a jokey way and Alessandra has replied by saying no I really do have a husband oh. uh, so there we are a bit of flirting oh. going on on that's, the live that's, stream that's Mr. Right. Duncan. but we have Valentine's Day coming so I'm sure a lot of people will be thinking about this thinking about looking for love finding oh new love Louis the 17th here's a good one play the f have you got that one coming up Mr Duncan play the field play the field I don't think I've got that one but that's a good one yes to play the field is to explore all the possibilities or all the opportunities you are finding out all of the things so you are not just trying one thing <laughs> as it were you are playing the field yes. you are trying lots of things usually used to describe having lots of relationships yes it's strange how all of these words seem to direct towards the same subject <laughs> yes normally when you say a man or a woman is playing the field usually used to describe a man's behavior hmm. uh, uh, a bachelor man a man that's unmarried hmm. He's going to play the field. He's yeah. going to try a few, a few <laughs> relationships and then find out which one is suitable for him. Yeah. And just, women can do the same thing. It's play funny. the field. It's funny, isn't it, though, how all of these words and phrases all seem to go down the same road towards the same subject. The field, the word field in that respect is referring to all the different men or women that are out hmm. there the varieties the varieties that's it <laughs> different varieties the field like a football field and how <laughs> many footballers there are in a football field they're all slightly different hmm. uh and you know play the field play yeah. the the oh, yeah hmm. okay anyway, i think we've described <laughs> that so thank you very much for that here's another one dating around that's correct to play up play up now this is an interesting one again it can be used in more than one way maybe something that is annoying you Maybe the children are making a noise outside and they are annoying you. They are playing up. They are being annoying. They are disturbing your peace. They are playing up. I wish those children would stop playing up. So to play up means to be annoying, to, to be antagonised by something. Something is playing you up. It's playing up. Also, something that is not working properly. So maybe a device, maybe something that isn't working properly. Your computer can play up. Yes, it, it means it is not functioning properly. Your computer is playing up. It is not working properly. Quite often, Mr. Steve's computer will play up. It means it is not functioning properly. Play out. We are talking about something, how, how a story, how a story will move the plot of the story, how it will play out, what will eventually happen in a situation. It will play out. You are watching something happen. You are watching the events unfold. You could say, yeah, that's it. You're exactly, Mr. Duncan. So you could have two people who start a relationship. And you might uh, be observing that and talking to your friends about maybe a two friends that you know have got together. And you might say, well, let, let's see how that plays out. Mm. So you're referring to, let's see, over a period of time, what may happen. Mm. Uh, you could, but it doesn't have to be relationships. It could be all sorts of things. It could be something at work. Anything. You know, might introduce a new system at work. Mm. Uh, and you might say, well, we'll try it. Let's just see how it plays out. Mm. And then it, you can make a decision down mm. the road Let's so see. that in time, whether to stop that or do something different. Let's see what happens. Play out can also mean to end something. So if you are putting on a concert, maybe your final song 
is called a play out or you play out with something so something that you use to show the end of something the play out music the play out song the play out can also mean the ending something you do to to show that the ending is here your last song is the play out yes you, you play out with it at the end of mr duncan's live stream he will play out you will end with a piece of music yes quite often familiar piece of music so we have we have about three more i think play cat and mouse right ah so maybe you are pursuing a person or maybe you are in some sort of chase to play cat and mouse means one person is being pursued or chased <coughs> and another person is doing the chasing so to play cat and mouse means you are following someone maybe that person the person you are following might keep hiding somewhere and then they will move to another place and you have to keep following them you are playing cat and mouse i like that one that's a good one it's a bit like tom and jerry yes the cartoons very violent you play cat and mouse something steve uh yes uh play truant ah thank you uh zafirigat yes sorry if i have pronounced your name incorrectly although i'm doing very well today play truant or zafirigat. Play, play hooky <laughs> as they say in the united states you play hooky it means you are staying away from something that you should be attending usually it refers to school yes uh, you are playing hooky truant you are you are should be there but you're not mm. usually referring to not going to school good one um maybe your parents don't know about it we also have uh from Zuzika, what about fair play yes fair play to treat people or to be reasonable and treat another person or to be in a situation where you are treating people equally fair play so when we talk about fair play it means the rules must be observed equally for everybody mm. so everyone is treated equally you have fair play everything is equal and Good. it's india's national day 26th yeah i knew that congratulations for that nisa the 26th and uh yeah we've got a lot of people and uh, amit as well and many people watching today yes are going to be celebrating their independence this week nitram while the cat is away the mice will play yes ah, you see again this can refer to a relationship can't it steve so maybe the wife is at home and the husband has gone away so she thinks mm, i'm going to go to my neighbor he's very handsome i'm going to chat to the neighbor and see see what's happening there or yes or if you're at work and the boss is on holiday uh, you might say to everybody in the office might say you know they might start doing things that they wouldn't do if the boss was there taking a longer lunch uh you know texting on their phone or something and then somebody might remark well you know while the cat's away the mice will play mm. the cat referring to the boss the mice being all the other employees yes but yeah in a relationship while the cat's away the mouse will play that's a good one yes that's a good one uh, i like that one here we go steve got a couple of more and then we'll from bihar as well that's two people from bihar we've had on today yes uh, i think we do have a lot of people watching in that part of the world to be honest meet up and send us the photos that we had from our four lovely girls yes in argentina yes send anything and, uh, yes send a photo send even if you just want to write to me and say hello mr duncan send a photograph send a picture of your dog or your favorite animal or maybe send a picture of maybe a place you've been on holiday anything anything interesting i can show it here on the live chat no problem angela van der zanden is from holland well uh, how far are you from Tomic? I wonder. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think I've pronounced that correctly as well. Or is it Angela? It could be Angela or Angela. Angela. It? Yes, because there right. is. Uh, I think it's the pronunciation, isn't it? Is isn't that isn't that German though? 
Yes, it is. But, it, mm. you know, it could be. Yes. Yes, it could is be. Is it Angela or Angela? Yes. Please tell us. Angela. Yes. She's going, isn't she, soon? Angela Merkel. She's gone. Has she gone? She's gone. She's gone. She waved goodbye a few weeks ago. Oh, right. She looked quite pleased about it as well. <laughs> she looked really pleased. She's, Thank God for that. I, somebody else can can deal with all this crap. Oh, sorry. I mean rubbish. <laughs> play down something. If you play down something, it means you are making something seem less serious than it really is. You play down yes. something. So you are you are making out. You are you are pretending that something is not as bad as it actually is. You you play it down. Play it down. Or I'm, you can play down something. Say you're very good at something, very talented at something. Uh, but when people ask you, you go, oh, yes, I'm quite, you know, I'm quite good. I'm OK. I'm OK. Mm. And then somebody else might say, oh, no, he, they're brilliant at it. They're absolutely yes. brilliant. I they're playing it down. That, that, that is false modesty. False modesty or mm. just being modest. Yes. You know, you play down your achievements. Mm. You don't, you know, say you've done lots of great things in your life. And but you don't want to show off about it. You play it down. You just... You know, because you don't want to appear to be showing off hmm. to people. And we have one more, Steve. One more. One more. And then we're going because it's already three minutes past four o'clock. Play oh. for time. <laughs> I think this is quite a good one to, yeah, end, to yes. end on. If you if you play for time. It means you are trying to delay something or trying to extend something longer. You need to play for time. You need to get something to last longer or to, to continue longer. You are playing for time or, of course, you are trying to hold something up. You are stopping something from happening. Yes. Which, uh, yes, if there is a y yes, you could be doing that deliberately f to to gain an advantage to yourself uh, in some way. I'm trying to think of an example for that. Playing for time. Yes. So maybe you've got to do something by a certain time. You've got a deadline, but you're you know, you're not going to to make it in time. So you you maybe do things uh, to try and prevent that time that's coming from from actually. And I'm not explaining that very well, Mr. Duncan. No. Uh, you, but yes, you're you're trying to extend the amount of time you've got to do something yes. beyond where it should have yeah. should have stopped. Yeah. So, for example, you might have a deadline at work to get a project finished mm. by a certain time or a certain date. But you're, you, you, you're not going to get it finished in time. So you go to your boss and you say, oh, can I have another two days to get that project done? Mm. They might say yes at first, but then you might go back and say, well, I need another day. Yes. And then the boss says, oh, look, stop playing for time. Mm. I, I need that done. Yes. You're trying to trying to extend the amount of time yes. you've got to do something. Yes. So you're, you're trying to make a deadline last a little bit longer. Maybe you are you are about to be executed by a firing squad yes and you 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 know that someone in a moment is going to come and save you from the firing <laughs> squad so you will try to extend that period of time before they shoot you you play for time you are trying to make they that the time continue a little longer because that person is going to come and save you from the firing squad you try to delay the thing you play for time Talking of which, we are, we are almost out of time, Mr. Steve. Can you believe it? It's yeah, gone out fast. Out of time, yes. Everyone says it always goes too fast. It always goes too fast. Why? Why does it always go so fast? <laughs> There's all sorts of things going on in the live chat. Is there? I think, yes. There are, there are, we've got people trying to connect in different countries in the same country that are online in the same country that is one in india now we've got it in uh, mm. uh in um i want to say holland but i don't want to use that phrase uh netherlands uh so yes we've got all sorts of things going yes. on now well that yes. is what the internet is all about the internet is all about connecting well i think i think angela should meet up with tomic and then tell us what he's like we want to know because he's a bit of a mystery, bit of a bit of mystery figure. Oh, I <laughs> thank you, Vitas. That's very good, Vitas. Vitas has been very clever there. He's using our names as single names. 
Ah. because I used to do that do you remember the the early days I used to pronounce or, or spell my name as one word mr. Duncan was just one word however these days I, I, I normally do it differently but I don't know why I might go back to that I used to like spelling my name is one complete name mr. Duncan but Vitas has spent spelt the names as one word yes so mr. Steve and Mr. Duncan, that's us, by the way, live from England every Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time. You can see now it's getting dark outside. The darkness is starting to fall. You can <laughs> see the daylight is fading. Uh, and of course, you are live on Wednesday. Yes, twice. Because on Wednesday, it is the end of lockdown at the end of everything. The masks can be thrown away. We can all hug and kiss you can run up to anyone in the street and give them a big hug and a kiss on the lips of, of course you might be arrested as well <laughs> so that that continues as normal <laughs> but yes so as a way of celebrating or commemorating that day I'm going to be on twice I'm doing a live stream 2 p.m. UK time on Wednesday and then a special one at 10 p.m. and hopefully this guy, this person will be joining us as well. I know it's very late for you, Steve. It will be late, so we will see what happens. So that's it. Twice on Wednesday. I hope you have a good time. That's it. That's exciting. Twice on a Wednesday. Yes. It's been a long time since I've done it twice in one day. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done anything twice in one day, to be honest. OK, Mr. Duncan, I think we're done, aren't we? We are done. That's it. We are done. We are finished. Yes. We have no more time left to play no. with. No, oh, very good. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say my goodbyes to our wonderful viewers and also to our new viewers that have been watching today and have revealed themselves and contributed to the live chat. And uh, we continue to progress along our we, we mustn't play for time on this one, Mr. Duncan. Our eventual meetups. Yes. I'm getting very excited about this. All I can say now is it's going to happen. Yes. It is going to happen. We are going to have a meetup. I don't know when, but it's going to happen at some point in the future. Thank you, Mr. Steve, for Get your company. The music play, oh, says Louis the 17th. The, the yes. <laughs> yep. I, 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 that's the trouble that I keep getting distracted by the live chat. See you in a minute, Mr. Duncan, for a cup of tea. I will. And I will. an episode of um, that Columbo. detective series called Columbo. See, my brain's going. I'm getting tired now. <laughs> Bye, everyone, and see you maybe Wednesday, if not next Sunday. Yes. Talking of playing, here I am playing in the local park. <laughs> big boy now I certainly am <laughs> mm, it's almost time to go it's almost time to say goodbye and wave farewell to you don't forget I am back with you on Wednesday from 2 p.m. UK time a special live stream and also next Wednesday or should I say this Wednesday 10 p.m. UK time and hopefully I can persuade Mr. Steve to join us as well I really hope so thank you very much for your company today I hope you've enjoyed it we are going to spend a little time on the beach <laughs> As I say goodbye to you, thanks for your company today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for your company over the past two hours. It has been fun as usual. And a special thank you to all those who have joined today. 
for the first time i hope to see you again very soon thanks for your company don't forget i am back with you wednesday 2 p.m uk time 10 p.m uk time and of course next sunday we will be back doing this all over again as well thank you very much take care stay happy stay safe keep that smile upon your face as you walk amongst the human race and of course you know what's coming next yes you do ta-ta for now Thank you.